Uh, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albight Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Netherlands against Qatar. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And the game begins. Dumfries, De Jong, Timber, might be onto something with that ball, just the challenge that was required, well we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently, the question is, are they in the conversation when it comes to teams who might win the World Cup? Of course, when we think of the Netherlands, we all think of that great team of the 1970s, headlined by Johan Cruyff. Well, I also covered the Dutch in 2014 when they did so well to get to the semi-finals. But since then, they've had a torrid time in competitive competitions, but they are getting better. Oh! Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? The athleticism, the connection, the accuracy, that's a great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Karim Budiaf, Almoez Ali. Long way out. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Yuri and Timber. Berghaus. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Simple save, really. but into the keeper's gloves.
Hatem. And space to cross it. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Good pressure to win the ball back. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Cup Mainers. Here's Blint now. Moving into the advanced position. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. De Jong. Superb and a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Has eyes for goal! It was an accurate free kick, but a fine save. And over comes the corner. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line! Good pass. Steven Berghaus. Well, highly inventive, and it wasn't far away. Hassan Al Haidos. De Jong. Blint. Van Dijk with it. Frankie De Jong hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. And very deftly cut out. Boudiaf. Hassan Al Haidos. Useful looking position, you've got to say. This might be ideal for the counter. Could be dangerous. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? OK. De Jong. Can he finish? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, as the replay shows, that's such a brilliant bit of skill to set up the chance. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. moving again 2-0 is how it stands Ali Abdulaziz Hatem Abdel Karim Hassan might really be able to trouble them here but they dealt with the threat posed and the counter attack is on options available well, that break looked so promising, but 
nothing coming from it Ali Karim Budiaf well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Yuri and Timber Steven Bergwijn let's see if something comes of this Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Untidy in possession. Pedro Miguel. Abdulaziz Hatem. Ali. Boudiaf. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Shot attempted. And we'll take efforts like that all day long. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, one thing that's crystal clear, Frankie de Jong is having a wonderful game out there and he's been a real handful for the defenders. Well, his passing has been really inventive and he's created so many chances for his teammates. He's been the outstanding player on the pitch today, no doubt about that. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Great vision to switch the play. And the throw in for the Netherlands. Can he find the net? Making sure it didn't get past him. Not the best clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Wonderful chance. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Yuri and Timber. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. And giving it away. Miguel. Very quick thinking there. Now doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And deep into the penalty area. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? It's there for him. Nicely saved. Corner kick played in. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it?
Cup Mainers. Ake. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, a long range efforts, but no real difficulties for the goalkeeper. Might really be able to trouble them here. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Ali. And that puts them in position. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. This is very rare indeed. Three substitutes coming on at the same time. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Can they trouble the opposition this time? The delivery. And an effective clearance. Urian Timber. De Jong. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. looking ball just unable to take advantage of that developing situation and the referee blows the whistle it is a free kick Malasia the attack continues they're making considerable progress Takes aim, and a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Three goals without reply. Now, options are plenty. It's there for him! Couldn't quite hang on. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Ahmed. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Throw-ins given. Pass could be troublesome. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Sided contest, 4 0. Hassan Puki Ahmed Hatem. Difficult to stop him. Oh, he could be in trouble. 
Well, just a yellow card, and you can see what they think of that decision, Stuart. Well, did he stop a goal-scoring opportunity? I'm with the referee. I'm not sure it was clear-cut. And a long way out here. Well, in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. Klassen. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Gakpo. And room to Rome on the wing. Can they convert? And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Played over. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Van Dijk. Happy to take on the shot. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Substitution time it is here. And he's fired over the corner. Not did his job defensively. De Jong. And a good looking ball. Well, nothing untoward happened. Breaking at pace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Attending to his defensive chores. De Jong. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And a big part of the story, a high-level contribution from Steven Bergwijn. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display. Could be dangerous.